Okay, guys, I'm here today with Marco Sinoco, huge honor for me. And uh, yeah, guys, today we're gonna go over here the coolest Jiu Jitsu concept that I learned from Neil Melanson. So, guys, uh, probably you guys know who he is, but he's one of the best MMA instructors in the world. He has worked with a bunch of UFC champions. And uh, every time I talk with someone who learns from here, who has ever trained with him, they always say, like, man, this is like one of the guys that knows the most about grappling no gi mma that i ever seen and he has a background in catch wrestling so he has all this mix of like jiu-jitsu grappling catch wrestling which makes his style super super interesting and uh, i was watching one of his instructions guys and he used one concept in the knee shields that i had never thought about it and the uh, knee shields is one of my favorite positions but for example Let's imagine that you are in the knee shields and your opponent's doing such a great job stopping you from there and you want to get out from the knee shields. What would you do? And most of the times I go from knee shields to close guard, but that's it. You know, like I do, there's not so many options to leave the knee shields from there. And then watching his instructional video, I saw one thing that he does that's super interesting, that blow my mind, that I would love to share here with you guys. So let's do this angle over here. So guys, let's imagine fighting against Marcus, and Marcus is doing a great job here stopping every single attack I have. So I want to get out from the issues. I want to almost like reset the match, okay? Restart the match. So guys, what Neil does over here is he comes up on his elbow and he controls his opponent wrist with this hand, okay? Now, even if Marcus tries to engage with me and try to close the distance here, I'm going to keep this control, okay? Guys, now just think about this. When I have this control of his wrist, I'm pretty, uh, pre I'm pretty much setting up my legs to be free, okay? So, for example, if I'm like this, my legs won't be free because my shoulder is on the ground. Even if I'm here, it's going to be hard for me to get out from here. Look, my butt's stuck on the ground, okay? So, what Neil does is very smart. He controls this wrist with this hand, and now his elbow is on the ground over there. And now he can place his right foot on the ground and literally just pull out his leg and restart the match from here, okay? And then he has a bunch of sequence of attacks from here, like slapping his head down, going to different attacks, and etc., etc., etc. But I really, what I really want to focus here is this concept about how you can get out from these shields and restart the match on a very efficient form, okay? So let's see again. Fighting against Marcus. Instead of staying with the regular knee shields over here, I'm going to control his wrist like this and I'm going to place my elbow on the ground. Now, even if Marcus put a ton of pressure here, it's very easy for me to just put my foot on the ground and get out, okay? Marcus and I were even playing around like, okay, let's see, like, what about if they control the head like this, right? It's still possible, guys. It's going to be almost the same thing. Check this out. Maybe I'm not going to be able to put this foot on the ground, but I can still do it this and get out okay so i had never seen this detail before and it blew my mind i'm a halfway dash knee shield person and uh, sometimes that happens i'm in the knee shields my opponent's doing such a great job stopping me normally i go to the close guard but what if you don't if you also don't want to go to the close guard if you want to restart the match and try to take him down for example or if you want to go to a different position so this was such a smart, simple, and efficient way to get rid of the knee shields and restart everything again that uh, I wanted to share with you all. So what are your thoughts, Marcos? Uh, it's, it's a very, I never saw that before. It's, uh, it's, it's blowing my mind again. It's like when people uh, play half guard knee shield, usually that they control the bottom arm, they go for the Kimura trap. Usually they want to attack, but if you want to get out, this is the best way to get out and reset the game holding the opposite side, which a lot of people don't do it, and it's unique details, so it's amazing. Uh, no, and uh, guys, if you're watching new teaching, it's all about this, you know? it's all about a bunch of like simple stuff that you never thought before, that's very useful, especially for no gi, and uh, it always blows my mind. Mm -hmm. So, guys, make sure to check, uh, check it out. New has a bunch of instructions at bggfanatics.com. He has systems for everything, step-by-step -step for everything, sequence for everything, so I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy it a lot. And make sure to check his man's channel as well, the YouTube channel, Marcus Chinoco. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. 
And to watch more videos, just click under See More Videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jiu-jitsu faster.